Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today I'd like to talk to you about hope. Now, hope is one of our themes for the year uh, across the UK. Hope together as the organisation is encouraging churches to realise how rich they are in Christ and to hold on to their hope in him and to hold out that hope to the world that desperately needs it through word and action. And so hope is a precious resource. We're so hope poor in our climate at the moment. Our culture, which was once sort of funded by this endless optimism about the future, is now beginning to get cynical about what uh, it was sold in terms of the narrative of progress and is now quite worried about the future. And there's a whole litany of woes if you scroll through your newsfeed or, or flick through your newspapers. Things like climate change and acidity of uh, the oceans, plastic, mass extinction of species. There's uh, shifts in the geopolitical power structures, the rise of the East, the diminishment of the West and all the unsettlement and turmoil that that brings, the uncertainty. There's, uh, of course, mass migration, millions of refugees, a rising kind of political extremism in Europe and across the world. And uh, like the cherry on the top, Brexit there. And so there's all sorts of things that we're worried about. And even those things we put our hope in as a culture before, like technology, oh, that will solve these problems or many of these problems. Now that's beginning to turn on us. And there's this whole threat of uh, artificial intelligence. And what will that mean if that comes into being? Uh, and it seems unstoppable. And, uh, and are we going to be prepared for some of these changes? And so there's this kind of anxiety about the future, a despairing uh, about uh, what might come and what world our children might uh, inherit. And so uh, into that situation we need as Christians to hold on to our hope but also hold out that hope to a world that needs it. So um, a couple of Sundays ago I was uh, amusing on all these things and in our church we were looking at Romans chapter 8 and there's some wonderful hope-filled words there that I'd like to share with you. It says this, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. These are incredible words. These are hope-filled words, aren't they? And Paul has his own litany of, of troubles and woes there. Shall trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness and danger of sword overwhelm us? We could add a few of our own. Um, but into that, Paul says, no, we are more than conquerors. Why? Because someone loved us and that, the person who loved us is God himself. And nothing can separate us from that love as expressed through Christ. Nothing at all. And so, although we might be concerned about some of the trends in our world, we need not be afraid because God's love is undergirding us. God's love is unshakable, irrevocable, indefatigable, unending, limitless. And this love is our foundation. Uh, it's our rock. It's our anchor in the storms. And although the clouds might be lumping black on the horizon, yet we have hope because we are loved. And that's a hope we need to hold on to this week. It's a hope we need to hold out to those around us.